Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna teach you how to mod your Powerwall server. Right now I'm playing in a Steam dedicated server and as you can see, for example, if I try to capture this boss, I have a 100% capture rate. And if I go ahead and throw it, I'm gonna be able to capture it because I'm using the 100% capture rate. And you could use tons of mods in your Powerwall server. This video is going to work for either Steam dedicated servers as well as for those of you that create a server without using the Steam dedicated server. Like if you use a Steam CND, for example, or some of you might even be able to mod your online hoster server if you're using one of those online hosting services. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. By the way, guys, if you've been trying to create a server for Powerworld and you've been struggling, don't worry because Apex Hosting got you covered. If you use the first link in the description, not only would you get all these advantages, not only would you get a server that goes instantly online, a server that is hosted completely remote so you don't have to put your IP address at risk, you don't have to put your computer hardware at risk and your friends could join without any issues, you will also get 25% off your first server just by using that first link in the description. So I'm going to leave that link in there for you guys in case you want to set up a server where you could add your own mods and do anything you want because it's your server. Okay. Once that's said, let's keep going with the tutorial. First, let's suppose that you're hosting a Power dedicated server using the Steam tool. If you want to mod this server, you will have to right click on it in the Steam interface, click on manage, click browse local files, and that is going to open this folder over here. In this folder, you want to head over to the PAL folder. You want to click on content. You want to click on packs. And in here, you're going to add all of those packs mod. Now, it is extremely important that anybody that is going to join the server and yourself as well have the same mods as the server has. For example, if you want to add the 100% capture rate to the game and to the server, you have to add it not only in the packs content folder for the server, but also in the packs content folder for yourself. And if your friends want to join the server, they also have to add this mod into their content folder. And I know this might be a little bit confusing, but for example, let's say that I want to add that 100% capture rate mod to my server. What you're going to do is, first of all, you have to add it to your own game. Now, I'm assuming you're watching this video because you already know how to mod your game. And we have made videos on that in the past. OK, so you have your game and you head over to your path folder, content folder, and then you go to packs and you have your mods, right? Let's say that you want to add that 100 percent capture rate mod. Well, you're going to have to copy that folder, the one that carries that mod into the packs folder in the server, like I said. So you're just going to control C over here and paste it over here. Let's say that you want to add different mods, like, for example, the first person mod to see in first person and the basic minimap as well. I'm going to go ahead and copy that folder. So you're going to go ahead and copy that folder and also add it to the server. You always have to make sure that your packs folder matches the server pack folder. Now, whenever you launch your Steam dedicated server and you join the world, you're going to have those same mods working. So far, I figure how to do this with packs only, but I'm working hard to figure out how to do this with the script mods, the ones that require you to have Unreal Engine 4 SS. And don't worry, because as soon as I figure that out, I'm going to post a video on it. Now, like I said earlier, let's say that you don't have the server using the Steam dedicated server option, the Powell dedicated server on Steam, and that you had to manually create a server. Like, for example, we have a video. We recently posted a video on how to do this manually. What you're going to do is open that folder where you install the server. You're going to head over to the Steam apps. You're going to click on common. You're going to click on PAL server. Now you're going to click on PAL. You're going to click on content. And then you're going to click in packs and in here into this packs folder, you're going to add your mods, your matching mods. Let's say, for example, that you are running the Game Pass version of Power World, right? If you have the, the game through Game Pass, it's OK. You're going to click here. You're going to click on manage files and you're going to click on browse. Then what you have to do in here is head over to the Power World game, click on content, click on pal, click on content again and then click on packs. And any mod that you have in here, you have to add to your packs folder in the server. It's as simple as that. And that will set up the mods for you. Anybody that tries to join the server needs to have the same mods. Now, there are some mods that are client side mods. And what client side means is that those mods are for the client only and the server doesn't really need it. Like, for example, the minimap mod, it's a client side mod. So if you have the minimap mod, you don't need to add it to your server because that's a client side mod. But I will still add it if I were you just to be safe, because you don't really know which mod is client side and which one is not, because not all the mods are going to say it. So that is pretty much how to mod your power World server. Now, just so you guys could see, I'm going to go ahead and launch my server. I'm going to go ahead and run my dedicated server that I have right here. We're going to wait for this to load and then we're going to join our own server. As you can see, our server is running right now. We're going to click on play on power World, and we're going to join our own server. I'm going to try to do all of this without doing any cuts or anything. So you guys can see that this is working. And also let me know down in the comments if you would like to see a video where I go more in depth and I do this from scratch. Let's go ahead and join our server real quick. And I go ahead and do all of this from scratch 
creating the server from zero, adding the mods from zero, um, modding, downloading the mods for your own game. If you would like to see that, let me know down in the comments because I have a feeling that not all of you might be um, able to do this by just me telling you, right? So now we're in the server and we don't have any pulse spheres, which uh, kind of sucks, but let's go ahead and look around. And actually, as you can see, this is the server from earlier, right? Look, and we don't even need to try the 100% capture rate mod because I added the first person mod. So if I press Alt and C, as you can see, we could go in first person and the first person mod. And as of right now, this is 100% working. Anyways, guys, that has been everything from me on how to mod your Power World server. Let me know down in the comments if you were able to do this, if you had any issues, maybe we could figure it out and we could help you. But yeah, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, bye bye.